Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald and in today's video I'm going to share with you a certain solution to the problem sent to me by one of my subscribers on linear motion. So here is the problem we shall go through step by step and says that a train is traveling along rails with acceleration a meters per second squared at the instant when the velocity is v meters per second the driver sees a tree which fell across the rails if the driver's reaction time is t seconds during which the train is still accelerating so you should know that word still accelerating and finally retards at uniform retardation of f meters per second squared show that the distance x from the instant the speed was v satisfies the equation 2fx equal to v squared plus t in brackets a plus f another bracket will be 2v plus a t so the first step will be to draw a velocity time graph so let's start by drawing a velocity time graph shall so first draw the axis put an arrow to show the direction then also draw the horizontal axis. Then next we shall label these axes. The vertical shows velocity. And the units are meters per second squared. Then the horizontal one is for time. Units are seconds. Like that. Now they told us that the particles at the instant when the man saw the tree he was with a velocity v so let this be our v and accelerate so let's put the other v capital v then he accelerates up to certain velocity which we don't know so let it be v1 so we shall first draw that accelerating now this will be our v1 so we shall come and put v1 there then from there he began retardi retardings in other words he decelerated up to rest so we shall draw the deceleration up to rest and this time while accelerating it was T capital T so shall put here capital T capital T that means that from here up to here it is capital T and from me up to there we don't know yet so this time is capital T and this one we don't know it so we shall first let it to be small t small t <coughs> so that means that this total time here can be t1 now that is our velocity time graph first of all from here to here it was an acceleration of a so we shall put there our a so come and put a here of meters per second squared so this is a for that then this side it was a retardation of f this side it was f so we shall put our f there so that is the velocity time graph next so now that you have drawn the velocity time graph you have to remember that x was the total distance covered and that total distance will be the total area under this graph so i shall first say that for acceleration 
so now for acceleration we shall use the first equation of motion so come and get the equation we know that v is equal to u plus a t So now for this acceleration, our initial velocity is capital V and final velocity is capital V1. So this will become capital V1 capital V1 and this will become capital V. Our acceleration was A but our time was capital T. So come and put here capital T. So with that we have got the expression for V1, meaning we can easily get this area of this trapezium. For this one we don't know this small t yet, so we still also have to get this small t. So let's come and say, for deceleration, I'll copy that. For deceleration, V is equal to that. In this case, our initial velocity is V1 and final velocity is 0. So come and put here 0 and put here V1. Our axle, it was a retardation, so we shall put negative F. And the time we said it let it be T. So in this case, we can let, make our T the subject. When we make T the subject, we shall come up with this. So T will be equal to... V1 over F. So we have now got T, meaning we can easily now get the area of this triangle. Therefore, we shall come and say that total area is equal to the distance, or let's say total distance. will be equal to total area. So in that case, it means that our x will be equal to the area under the graph. So x will be equal to this area of the trapezium. Area of the trapezium is a half h times a and b. So a will be v and b will be v1. So shall come and say, let's use this and say for the trapezium, it will be a half h. Now our h is capital T and our v v plus v1. So now that is the area for this time from 0 to t, capital T. What about from, ca from capital T to T1? It will be area of the triangle, which is a half base times height. So we shall say it will be equal to a half times base times height. Base is T. And height is V1. So in this case, the first thing to do is to bring. I think this I have can go this side to get this. So now here we have two that, and this has gone, and this has gone. Next, we realize that this V1 was already got as that. So you come and substitute for V1, and also substitute for so substituting for v1 here will give us this and also v1 here will let's first substitute for t on that side so when substitute for t we shall realize that that is that and this will give us v1 squared v1 squared but we know that v1 is equal to this so we shall come and substitute for V1 now and we shall get this. 
Then from this step, we are also multiply throughout by small f. Let's multiply throughout by small f and see. This will become now 2xf. This one will become ft that. Now this is collecting like terms, it will be 2v. And this one now, it is the whole of that. So we have to open brackets here. We shall get v squared plus 2vat plus a squared then t squared like that so from this step we shall realize that t is common in all first of all if you compare with what we want to get let's first write copy what we want to get and put it somewhere far away so our aim is to get this I think consider that we have already got this part which is 2xf and this one is here so the first thing to do is to isolate those ones which we have already got so let's isolate the two fx and this v squared so this v squared will come here so that means that we have to work with this from here up to here to make it equal to this part in other words, we have to factorize. I think I said what we need is to factorize. The first thing is to remove the t. t is here, t is here, and also it's here. So let's first put the t outside. Like that. So this t has gone, this t has gone, and here we are remained with one t. Now when you look at this part, A is common in these two terms. For this part, you have got one of what is in this bracket. So I'm going to first factorize A in that part. So A will come out and inside we shall remain with... With one A here. Like that. So this has gone away. I think I realize that for these two terms, 2v plus 8t is common in both. So we are going to first pull it out also. So in this case, when I pull it out, for this side I remain with f here, and this side I remain with a. So when you realize this and this, it is similar to what they want. So in the end, we we'll just conclude that my final expression is that. Then you can write as required. So that's how they can go through the solution to the problem. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.